everybody. Okay, today I have another conversation with Jennifer. We are going to be talking about large scale energies coming in now. Large oversold energies that we are experiencing now through our bodies. So we're really talking about how it's affecting the body, what it means, how it works, um, that it's a time of great expansion for us, but our bodies and our mind to some degree and our emotions, all of that may be taking a hit one way or, or another and why that is. How it's also kind of clunky, why that is happening, um, and really talking about very, very, very big picture ascension, expansiveness, and the energies coming into each of us in the way that it is working in a human body. So I hope this helps you understand your journey a little bit further, taking a few pieces of what we offer you and applying it to your own understanding of this ascension and awakening and life journey. So with that, I'm Carolyn. I'm a channel. I'm a distance energy healer, and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I offer these videos to help you along your ascension, awakening, and life journey. So check out the link below where you'll see all of my information, including my website at purplerainhealing.com, and also a link that will take you over to my email list where I offer a channeled message each week for you on the Friday before to help you along in your journey. So before we get started, I just want to make a couple comments about the video I recently did on the eclipses coming up. We do have an eclipse coming up here later this week. Um, and what we talked about a lot in that video was really identifying the things that, you know, we need to further kind of think about letting go of, what doesn't serve us any longer, how we do that, all right? But what I want you to know is it doesn't have to be all accomplished now, right? This is about recognizing and understanding and knowing and continuing to do the work. You may already be doing this, so just keep continuing it, right? There's always something though, is what we want to remember is as we continue along this journey, new things start coming along. You know, some of us talk about like, you know, we've been doing this a while, right? But it becomes, I'll just say kind of more, um, a little more, they just said the word sophisticated. Sophisticated in the way that some of the things are brought to us or some of the, um, I'll just say, bigger things that we now start to encounter and it's a little bit different at times depending on how far along you are in your journey and it also depends on what your journey's been like so what I would say to you is don't get hung up about oh gosh I got to get this all done <laughs> and process this and and have it all uh, you know cleared out of me or whatever that even means decisions made all that no it just means really spend some time with yourself to recognize what this may mean for you and then start working on it just like we do anything else. It's about continued momentum of energy that we offer into our spiritual journey, continuing to do the work over time. The eclipse season just offers us this opportunity to get that boost in whatever, whatever way that will mean for us. So with that, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to send you over to Jennifer and myself having a conversation, and then I'll wrap up with you in the end. In fact, I'm finding it more and more difficult as I have a lot of these um, recently, just a lot of ancient energy, the the originals, the ancients, um, oh, these really big, high um, vibrational, just depth of, you know, and I'm usually saying, oh, we got to raise the vibration. And my team was like, your vibration is so high right now that most all of the other beings that are around you, they can't be around you right now. It's too much. I thought, oh, so I, I dawned on me. Mine it has changed to a level where if I, I'm almost at a level where I can, or at a vibration where I'm irritating to some people just vibrationally, just because it's it's almost painful in a way to, to be in it, although it feels fine to me, it feels good. Yep. Um, they're like, oh my God, I can't even, it's too, it's like too much. It, it makes your mind and by being expand to a level and then um, they, to feel it, they're like, ah, you know, and they, you, you know, know what I'm getting? Way. Yeah, I'm getting a, a kind of a, a metaphor. I'm actually seeing this. They, it, 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 it's, it, this is more, this is a literal thing, but they're showing the cells in, in people expanding, like it's an expansive kind of feeling. And yet they're not ready for that. It's almost like they're going to burst. Now they wouldn't be able to tell you that, but the, the visual they're giving me is these cells taking in that vibration and not being able to hold it. Does that make sense to you? Whoa, I just got chills. Yes, that's right. And I think that that's, that's what's happening to 
Um, and I think there, you know, at some point, you know, I've had, I've had some difficulty, like some jump starts or mismatches or things that have happened that didn't go perfectly in line. So I think I am um, energetically in a sequence of energies coming in and coming in, coming in. And I think maybe a couple got missed, came in at the wrong, um, came in in wrong order. Did you so just that's word where... sequencing? Yes. Yeah, that's I'm getting that as well. You know, it's interesting. I, I don't mean to interrupt you because I want you to go back to that. I just want to yeah. ask a question is, has this all been happening these last couple of months for you? The part you're well, talking this, about now? This, these are, this has been sick. So, so there's many of them, yeah. but there, there's more and more and more to the point of um, if, if anything is out of order or I'm a little too, too early in one of them and you see what I'm saying and maybe I'm a little too early in one or somebody jump started jumped the gun and they're out of order it plays out in a way where and even like what you were saying with cells it plays out in a way where my cells almost want to burst so my body's oh. uncomfortable yes you know, I think what you've just done I'm just getting a hit on this I think mm -hmm. you've just explained what's been how it's been happening with me because I've had some really weird off the chart kinds of things. I think other people have felt it too, but that's a really good way of describing that. That's what it feels like. Yes. And then when it's your whole body. It's not that your body can't do it right. and it's not that it can't be smooth, but something somewhere along the way, there was a, a jump start. I mean, uh, so somebody wanted to move ahead or they wanted to do, they just, they got out of order. And now there is a little bit of a misunderstanding of where their place is and they don't want to move. So now we're kind of like, we're going up, but the plow's down. So we're going up, but we're plowing into the dirt at the same time because there's somebody up here yes. who doesn't get it. That won't, that won't fall in line, right? But when you say this, somebody, so, um, how do people understand? What are you talking about? When you say a, a part of you there, or a part of... There's a entity or a being mm -hmm. that is... Okay, say, for instance, you have the energy that is the omnipresent energy of everything that is, okay? Mm -hmm. And then in that... And, as it trickles down into the like multi-dimensional infrastructure into dimensions and, and eventually emanates into matter um then there is a uh that kind of goes from the largest a little bit smaller a little bit smaller and then you start going into you know i say your own special snowflake when you're in separation right mm -hmm. so you can imagine there should never be a energy that is in separation but yet still wanting to touch or be inside of or ahead of a omnipresent energy. It wouldn't work. It would be very uncomfortable for everybody. But there is a large being who does not want to concede that they got too far ahead. So we're having a lot of ouch and then a lot of the other beings that are coming in next and next, they come in and they're like, ow, what is this? What's happening? And it's almost like we're being caught underneath somebody who's ego, <laughs> who's still an ego big time, who won't get out of the way, right? So are you, um, let me clarify again, just for, so everybody knows, are you talking collectively in, well, I mean, it's obviously collective too, but is it's, this is an individual kind of thing you're talking about. And when you say, because what I don't want people to think is that when we're talking about entity or energy or whatever coming yeah. in that we're not having entities and energies or entities and spirits coming into us so you, can you clarify no, no, I mean just into the plane of existence for okay. a change okay, okay? Or, yeah. or an upgrade yeah. for a, a a union for something like that now i say these big huge energies they ain't massive they huge oversouls right big big energies but the way that these things work out everything that goes on even celestially and it always plays out in some way on the earth plane right so always. you have this big ego energy doing something stupid and there's some way you'll look around those those participating in that oversoul will look around and they'll probably have some gigantic ego person in their life who mm -hmm. acts like that right you know what they just said just to interrupt you they just said that's the as is as is above so is below yes yes so it's not that, so we, we, you know, we have riots 
or things that, like where people say no more, you're not going to tell me what to do. You know, with quarantine and some of that stuff, we had riots or some 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 timelines did anyway. These things are not necessarily, they're not mutually exclusive. There are things going on on, on a celestial level. Some may be an actual persona of a of a entity that's a large oversoul, or it could just be a uh, strange timing or an anomaly that has happened on a cosmic level that needs to balance out. And when it balances out, then the earth plane will will um, balance out too. Yeah. Um, but in this particular case, I believe it's an oversoul that okay. is confused about who they are and what uh, order that what's for happening. You, for what you in order. particular, you're talking about. Yeah, so like for in this and and I, and I have an I actually have somebody in my life that this is playing out with too. So I've got both energy. I've got both yeah. things going on. Um, I just happen to be a my being is a little different in the sense that I don't separate so much from below and above as I am a total being direct yes. into a body. Exactly. So I have the whole thing um, from top to soup to nuts, top to bottom. Yeah. So um, the this particular being did that and it's not that they're just sitting there going no i'm not going to do it because when they did it they got hurt really badly and so did their entire group and they did something to their energetic that messed it up and they're trying to figure out how to do it without losing too much but then still get in the right order and all of us are kind of getting mad at them like listen you know you're screwing it all up for you know we're hurting this hurting the vessel on the earth plane with no need they should have upgrade we should already be in i keep saying this i, I just throw this out there i know this might be a lot but i'm like we're years overdue for being um, ageless timeless um on this plane there should be no um the construct of time that we're utilizing is right. archaic um there's no aging there's not we're not you know we don't have you know what i'm getting here let me just add to this tell me if this is what you're talking about is that this is um <laughs> They keep saying the word encodements. They used that for this last energy update. And they're talking about how our we are, the body is really having to um, react, accommodate, and these encodements are kind of bursting, right? Like at the seams. But what I'm getting is, is this idea of, this, I don't know if this is going to make sense. I think it's what you're saying, is that the shifts and changes that are being made that as of as of is, is above so is below it's kind mm -hmm. of clunky a little bit it it it, 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 it feel it'll it okay but i want to say this it feels clunky in the human body because we're all being impacted by the hands we have all these people with like wild things happening to them energetically physically and also showing up literally in 3d um, relationships things like that like there's a lot happening i'm why am i getting that clunky like i think that ties to what you said am i correct like it's it's like oh god what's coming you know what is this oh yes. wait what's it's, that it, it is and it didn't necessarily need to be that way but you know we'll look at it as what is happening okay so it's a massive undertaking um it is I would say I don't think it's ever been done at this at this level no. before. No, um, and I'm getting a pushing ahead. Like, it, it, is this what you're kind of talking about? This um, idea of all of a sudden we're accelerating more because we're behind. Kind of per what you said, does that make sense to you? Like a bit of a. a no, we're we're having to like, put, we're having to, like like you say, like you know, having birthing a baby. Okay, for instance. Yeah. Even if something's wrong like something's not aligned properly or it's not, you know, everything's not just per that baby's coming anyway. Right. right. So it's not going to wait. <laughs> so we are. Um, metaphor. So we were talking about birthing the baby. It's coming regardless. And this lines up really directly with what I just got for information for October, which was, we have to go through it. Like I think it was either yeah. months or October, but it, we just, have to go through it and i think the thing is a really good example of that very personally is what i've been through since july which has been kind of nightmaric meric nightmaric is that a word <laughs> anyway um but i finally it hit me i think i mentioned this in the video like a couple of weeks ago oh wait i just you know this is this is all my stuff coming up right or being added to or upgraded or whatever i just need to let it 
let it flow, let it go, not fight it. Like I was doing this thing of like 10,000 practices so that I, you know, can not have the thing happen to, no, that's not it. We got to go through this. Does that make sense? You know what? I feel like, you know, and I wish I could be as chill about it because mine are, I'm not really good with pain. I have to say I'm not very good with pain. So I, I've been in some serious, pretty severe pain throughout this whole thing. And so I do try to find ways to make it flow better. Yep, me too. But let me tell you something. There is such a incredible organizing presence um, that runs some of these, you know, massive um, in all encompassing things. It's an, it's unbelievable. It, it's I've had things happen to my personal body that have um, been so extreme and my body has done things that I can't even believe. I wouldn't even know how to explain it to you in order to accommodate and keep me protected and able to do it um, to a level of just unbelievable. So I have a huge level of trust mm -hmm. that there is support and there is no limit to what can be done. You know what? So, that's really interesting you say that because you've been going through this longer. And so all of a yeah. sudden that's where I'm at now where I'm like, oh wait, no, this is about knowing regardless of how difficult it is. Cause mine is one of those situations where, and I've mentioned this previously to folks is, well, I don't know if I have where I literally feel like I'm in a straight jack in my entire body, all my organs, everything. I feel like I'm going to die, but it's an energy that has to shift and move out of me. It's the same process every time, but I've now come into what you have the idea of let it go, let it flow, surrender into it. You're safe. Even though it doesn't feel like it kind of idea, right? The trust, the trust, the trust in the faith. It's, it's like universal flow. It's things that are, um, they don't not, not necessarily cognizant of your level of pain in your human vessel, right? No. But the flow of it, you know, it is it it's always correct. Yes. So um, yes. so even though it's painful, sometimes like this is intolerable pain. And I cannot. I don't know why. What's the use of this? Or, sort of say, how does this serve? You know, how can this be possibly right? Even though I know there are things that are going on because I'm tapped in, I can hear it. They're like arguments, little things that, and it's all affecting me at a level of um, where almost everything now is its totality. And so I'm feeling it in its totality where I think that it was supposed to have happened in an order where some of this stuff had already been taken care of by oversoul groups okay. and it would never, would never have touched me but it happened in the wrong order and I'm getting hit with some of the stuff. I know we not, talked about that I, in our earlier journey together. A lot of that. Absolutely. No, so they're big energies they are big over. So groups, it's not just like individual here and there, there's just huge things and I'm doing it as, you know, with a vessel. Right. Yeah. So it's, and, and it start and it will play out in, in the collective. So yeah, I'm trying totally. to do it in a way that, um, I'm doing it for myself saying this is too much pain for this. It's unnecessary. How do we smooth this out there? But as they get weeded out and as these things smooth out, then when it unfolds for the group, for the mm -hmm. collective, or, you know, it will hopefully be in a more refined order so it can happen easily, but you get something out of order. Like I said, this is huge. In a way, I look at it like a huge machine with cogs that have to be perfectly aligned, but that's actually the opposite of where we're going, away from the cogs, away from the machine, to the full energetic, the full organic um, energy, right? Exactly. Where it's not so mechanical, it's not a breakdown, it's not, it's it's our, our true, authentic energetic that is everything is very uh, it works in perfection right so 
Um, I think that it's a little bit bumpy, like you said, between the two, the, the transition from yes. one to the other. Yes. Um, so I got to ask you a question because I'm kind of getting something and I want to just see what you think about this. But they're sure, showing sure. me with you, and I, we kind of know this, that you, in a nutshell, you're, okay, you experience things before the collective, you're, kinda, you're in front of that, in that sense, but I, what, because of, you know, I just, I just always say who you are, like what you come in as and what you have are I'll just say energetically speaking but what I get to is like it feels like you are a does this make sense you're like a um you know it it all it all runs through you first as a kind of a proving ground or like what works what doesn't work is anything making sense there at all or am I just like I might be explaining this what I'm seeing incorrectly but it's almost like you are okay here's what they're showing I'm not saying this is literal but it's, you've seen those sci-fi movies where they have like the people in the, or the, like the um, bodies in the tubes and they're doing things and it's morphing and changing. It's like you're in a tube, but you're the, I don't want to say the experiment, you know, you're doing it, but like they're running the energy of oh, through you to, first. Is anything making any sense there? Yeah, it does. It does. It's very, um, it's almost like the, you know, these really ancient energies, the ones who are, you know, the, yeah, tell me the, about they've been energy, you know, they're infinite. Okay, so it ties to what you're saying. I didn't mean to change the subject, but it ties to what you're saying. Okay. It's one of these things, it's like the energetic is so massive. There's, they're all, you know, the the energy that we wouldn't know if there was ever a beginning, you know, right. they've been there, they're infinite, right? right. Um, and then when that energetic decided at some point to have more than themselves, right? And then things came into form and, you know, these energies are, um, God, I kind of lost my train of thought. I went into that space and I you got, what yeah. I just got though. Yeah. I just, okay. I I'm that I energy got, I'm talking about. It came right yeah, to me. Let me, let me add while you're thinking about that. Okay. What they're saying to me and they're showing this to me, taking all back to source, to source yeah. energy. Okay. Taking all back to source energy. Does that, Yes. Saying yes. like taking it, back to or into or all of us, but because we're all connected, all threaded together, but they're showing this. So you go ahead. Go ahead. I just wanted to add that. It's uh I forgot what you said before that. I was trying to explain. Those are the energies that it's like the energy of everything that exists. That's that's kind of the my that's my um background energy. Okay. So it's um the the one oh god it's hard to explain what's happening yeah. so when you move into the when you start to feel that kind of energy it just goes it's like the bottom drops out right uh -huh. there's nothing right you're like anti grav there's no gravity and the bottom drops out and it just goes okay I have I can tell I cannot tell that there's any edge to anything there's no top there's no bottom there's no edge it's just forever and ever vastness okay 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 but it's, but it's rich with substance like there is intelligence there's knowledge there's wisdom there's texture there's just so much stuff in it i keep getting there's consciousness ah, yes and it's amazing but it's just vast okay they're huge energies um that's the kind of energy that is at, at my back. So you imagine, I think that being in any, any kind of a body at all for, for me at some point, it's going to feel claustrophobic. Yeah. It's, okay. This is what's been, there's yeah. something going on here with what I'm feeling and what you're talking about, because this is exactly what happens to me. I, 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 the only way I could describe it was like being in a straight jacket bound and claustrophobic and not being able to get out of my own body. And that sounds so yeah. weird, but I, cause I'm not really, yeah. straight. and it, it really feels like you're going to okay. suffocate and die and turn into a little nothing. I, I don't know how to explain it, but yes. Is that, that right? Would be, that would be the feeling of that energy. What I'm having. Some, any, any form of containment. Yes. So you're talking about an energy that's kind oh. of an omnipresent energy oh. that's not in separation so i never thought about it like that in that's certain bottle, i mean like that would be what that would feel like right? right so um i don't think that that is uncommon to feel that right now but i don't necessarily think that it was intended to be that way that's why i'm saying there's oh. something that went a little out of order 
Yes. So here we are like a omnipresent energy with a separation energy trying to touch it. We're like, no, don't touch me. <laughs> and they're like, no, I think I go here. No, don't touch me, you know? And they're seeing their reflection in the mirror of omnipresence and they want to go there. And it's, no, don't touch that. That's a, that's a reflection of you. No, I think that's mine. I want to be in there. No, don't go in there. Well, they went in there and then their whole thing kind of went, right? And so now it's almost like a little bit of a push them back out where they're supposed to be. And then while it's happening, because the whole thing's not going to come to a screeching halt because somebody decided to walk into the mirror, right? right. So, so it's still happening. It's still going to go forward. The discomfort that we may feel through it, like we might feel claustrophobic because that's what that would feel like, right? Okay. Or we might feel like something got in that shouldn't be there and they kind of yes. hurt and like why do I feel inflammation in my body why do I have a headache why do I yes. feel tightness yes. you know what happened it would be that guy that got in there and broke the you know um so but it, it's still moving forward and it's so expansive it's, even though it doesn't feel like it this is the expansive yes. part of this that right. it, yet it feels it's unlike anything we've experienced to date, primarily for most of most of us. And it, it it very much, gosh, this makes so much sense. It's that and and in the process though, too, is what's happening in tandem is what I'm I I know is happening with me, but we're also clearing out stuff at the same time. Like it's like an now what they're showing. Oh, they just said it's like a two-way street. It's entering and leaving. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you're That's right. space for by the work we're doing, the clearing, the choices we make, all of that, the dealing with inner child trauma, past life, whatever it is, and then entering in. So we're our bodies are just going, what's going on? And this is why yeah. in a couple of videos, we may end up showing in 3D that we think we have massive physical issues, you know, kinds of things happening because our body's reacting to this energy. Yes. But you know, what you're doing is really smart. Um, this is... Uh, everything I'm saying is tying together what you're saying. I know I was saying how with you, I think you, you like in this lifetime, you you chose not to have a family or to, you know, to have your, and the kind of work that we're doing is really focused. It needs to be focused energetically and on your physical health. And yeah. so I have to say for any of anyone who ever thinks, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. Listen, <laughs> that's not a bad, that was, that wouldn't be a bad place to be where you are right now focusing on the body because huh. the body is what is going to be the bridge between the energetics coming through and the little hiccups that went on along the way. The, the body can work it out by, by activity um, by physical activity, by yep. stretching, the, yep. you know, the stuff, mindfulness, it's going to okay. be most, go ahead. No, no, no. Keep going. Sorry. I didn't, I kind of didn't no. hear you when you were talking. It's going to be mostly things that are, uh, like what you're doing. You're, you know, you do shiatsu, you can do yoga, stretch, you can run, you can, you can do adjustment, getting your, your, um, skeletal system adjusted often. Um, just the realignment. Of, so you yep. say we're out of alignment in some way, things that realign you. And, you know, you're, you know, in our system with this is spine. Yeah. Um, spine has yeah. A lot to do yeah. with yeah. alignment. They call that the highway of all. It's what they say to me. Yeah. Spine is the that's highway right. of all. The highway. Um, so that's, you know, things like that can help a lot. Um, right. I think oh. that, go ahead. No, what the, one of the things they're really bringing in, it's not like I haven't mentioned this before, but they're really showing this, like all these other things, definitely. However, <laughs> breath, if you do anything, breath work they're talking about is the number one mover of energy they're talking about. Does that make sense to you? Like they're like okay. that they're yeah, like on. those deep Kundalini kind of breathing exercise, like moving the energy. Cause we got, like you said, that whole, what Oversoul wants to show up and you've got parts coming in. But if we're not moving and flowing that energy, which is also why water is super important, but the whole thing you're talking about, all the things you just discussed, but they're talking about that breath work will move in and out that energy. So I'm just throwing that in and what I'm receiving. Does that connect? Yeah, no, that's very good. Yeah, I believe that very much. I like that idea. I love breath work. I love the, the stretching and the alignment of the spine. I also, um, I don't know, I wanted to bring this up for you too there is a you have a thymus uh right here 
Um, and it it is, there's activity that the cells activate when you tap your thymus. And it can be something, it, we, you know, it's already been proven, many know this, that you can tap on your thymus and it will correct your polarities if your polarities are off in any way. I didn't pull that. It also activates life force. Tapping is wonderful. So, oh. so, so wait, say that again. Is, yeah. And the thymus is where? Like right above it's your little, It's a little lower. It's, like, it's right, but yeah, right between your chest right here. You can do, I usually tap in the center and I tap up towards my collarbones and back down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Area, you follow like the collarbones. So explain again what that does for us. It does several things, but it, one of the one of the most beneficial things that I find, especially when you're doing alignment, it or at a, a inner, it uh, aligns your polarity. So if you're in in a negative or reverse polarity anywhere, it'll realign your polarity, and that'll have the energy flow through the body correct itself if it's going in the wrong direction. So it will oh, flow helpful. properly. Yes, very. It'll flow oh, because properly. You're talking about when you're talking about that, you know me. I always get these visuals. They're showing sure. that that's tied to magnetics, and you're like, it's like, oh, they just said it's like you're magnet realigning your magnetic north. Yes, that's right. and, and when we're out of alignment, per, per what you just said, our magnet and so you know doing the compass thing, the weird compass thing, and they're talking about realigning to magnetic north. Okay, so I just <laughs> wanted to give you that. So I see, like what you said, I see deep, your breath work and tapping your thymus would be like a daily, daily activity. It'd be oh, super easy to do. You could do it while you're driving. You could do it while you're walking around the house. You can yeah. sit down and do it while you're watching TV. It doesn't matter. Um, I think that that by itself would be a massive, massive help to any anybody with the, trying to help the body align itself and find itself Which in a way I'm where it can utilize its own intelligence yep. and the energetic that's coming through the intelligence of the energetic that's coming through to assist in any kind of veer off we did that's, or pull right getting, back in boop, 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 exactly. it's aligning mm -hmm. it it's like putting it on the highway instead of it driving all over the place that's what i very much so yes. everybody back in their own lane i always say make sure everybody gets it gets back into their lane so we can do this right yes. um it, it And then there's also a life force um, component to it. Mm -hmm. It's basically, you know, bringing your like, yeah, this is, I'm yes, I'm alive, right? You know what I mean? It's like, this is my life force. I'm activating my life force cells with thymus, with the thymus cell. So you're, um, you can do it as often as you want. Some people do it when they're nervous even, or um, it, it helps them sleep. It's, it's like a, and really nice way to get your body back in alignment. But, you know, it, it, for the body, like you said, you know, I feel, I feel like weird pressures and things going on. Okay. I know this can go smoother. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I want to shift, uh, I want to shift into what you yeah, still about. Gonna happen. Yeah, when you first came on, when you first came on, you were talking about what you were doing. Yes. I just want to shift into this because I think it'll be interesting. You're talking about you're connecting more with the ancients. I think those were your words. Was that correct? Yeah. Can you like, I think the audience might enjoy that conversation. Um, I don't know. Tell me, you want to talk about that? Sure. I, I love I mean, um, if you think it's relevant, unless you want I to go somewhere it. else. If you want to go somewhere no, else. No, no, that the energy is wonderful. It's it's a great thing to talk about because it's our heritage, right? Mm -hmm. Um it's it's a strange way to look at it. It's it's history, but it's also our future. Um and it's all, and then, and then at the, you know, when you really get into the feel of it, there's no time at all. And that's, I think that's kind of the, the stepping stones to understanding the, the energy of it. But it's, uh, there, there is such a beautiful and depth of, of information. Now, I feel like a lot of ways this is a, awakening of sleeping energy oh what do you mean by that i feel like it's an energy that is in repose or not maybe actively creating but has created and has rested 
and it's in rest, but it's coming out of rest now. So, and it's humongous. They're just, just this massive, beautiful um, energies, memories that I have had in the past about things that I've done as different beings, personas, uh, many things, some of them have been human, huge, just really big, you know, amazing, beautiful. But with the ancients, as, they, as they're starting to come back, I've had memories of having no physicality whatsoever, my being. Okay, let having, me interject something before you keep going, because I, yeah. I want to give it to you now. What I'm getting, and this is with everybody, because I think everybody's starting to have these things happen, but our story is being told. Okay. Like our story is, they keep saying your story is being told, your story is being told, like your story's coming to the surface. So I won't go into my scenario, but I've had things happen lately where I'm like, I knew things from the past years. And all of a sudden the story's being put together. It's confirming everything I kind of thought, but all of a sudden it's yes. just lining up like chuck, 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 really fast. Like my, I get a lot of stuff from shows and things like that, like signs and mess, but it's just like cling, cling, cling. And I, I, I'm, my story is being told. So go ahead. Does that resonate with you? Absolutely. It does. And I think that, like you said, it comes in as whispers and then it starts to make more sense. And then you start to realize, but then it just keeps coming and it keeps coming and it keeps coming. And you still realize there's so much depth mm -hmm. to me, right? Yes. To you as an individual, you as a spirit or a soul, yes. there's so much depth to it. And it's, um, it is the story, but it's also so beyond where we um, see ourselves maybe as uh, the, the individual, like where we are now. There's things, um, you know, like I remember of, uh, creation events that I was a, that I was, it's so hard to explain this. It's like a moment of creation. And I know that I did not have a body. I know I was not any, any kind of like a persona. It was just, but I could still remember the feel of it. And I can remember the, um, and sometimes it's when one of the ancient, uh, when an ancient energy and original energy um, is, I know they're inter interacting with me or they're coming and I will have the memory of how it happened. It brings tears, you know, I mean, I, it's, it's so beautiful. I heard the word remembrance. Um, the re our remembrance is coming back. Gosh, this is really they're really showing this. This is a part of making us whole. The 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 remembering who you are kind of thing, right? The totality yes. of who we are. And and I'm not talking into source, but I'm talking about the what you're talking about, the experiences we've had kind of thing, because that's the totality of who we are. Um yes. they've always said I'm gonna add this real quick and then I want to go back to you. They've sure. always said to me, always from day one as I've started to like know my experiences galactically, whatever, you know, you put all those pieces together over time and you get this sense of who you are, your past life, blah, blah, blah. When we, and I was like this this weekend, I got really small. <laughs> I was into fear on a certain couple of topics. Um, and I was, you know, that whole thing, I knew it. And I was just like, eh, energy like this, like this. And I was small. I was small, Carolyn, only Carolyn. I was all teeny, teeny, small, like in a box, fearful, Carolyn. And then all of a sudden it was like, wait, no, remember who you are. Remember who you are. The expansiveness and all of what we've experienced coming back and going, oh, wait a minute. And then it bursts you out of that awful tight space when we start to know who we really are per what you're, you know, realizing. Yes. I really think it's amazing. You say it, 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 it's metaphoric, but it's literal. We have gotten smaller now. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> So the it it's it is coming back to you know who you are and you don't realize the magnitude of it. It's incredible. It's like being being the body or being one cell in the body, right? Yep. You realize there's a whole body, right? That's huge. So it's um that's what the feeling of these energies are. This, you know, the different energies that come in that are just foundational um, energy to all creation. Mm -hmm. They're huge, huge, beautiful, beautiful energies. And, you know, it's interesting to think this because 
a lot of times I think the you know the where where the most beautiful things came into creation, you know, some of the things that take our breath away when we see, you know, the cosmos or that are just fabulous, right? You would think I a lot of times you would think it is an artist, somebody who has a big personality or has a lot of uh I don't know flair, for instance, a creator being that would do something like that would be like but it is there's no construct there's no limit there's no falseness there's no mask there's no persona but yet you still have this amazing energy that sometimes we would maybe contribute or look at like it must be their personality there's no personality it is just that amazing right yep there's at its just beingness yes yes just being it creates the most beautiful things that you know just take your breath away so you know all of what we're talking about kind of leave they're they're tying this to and maybe this seems obvious but um is this is all aligning what we've been talking about for the ultimate like ascension with the body kind of thing does that make sense to you like this is this is the ascension with the body the yeah it's it's the return i think the reason i say that is because we have a struggle sometimes to release our identity because we feel like that's all i am i'm my identity we have to grab onto right it's all of the things I've accumulated. It's my legacy. It is who I am. It is the identity of me, right? That that is, I hold on to that or I'm nothing. And I like to point that out because when you actually feel where you came from, mm-hmm. you'll realize the identity that you've built has been for as as impressive as it might be mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. has been for your enjoyment in an experience feeling separate yes exactly oh that's well said absolutely Abs- we couldn't do are, it otherwise we couldn't do it otherwise but as you are mm-hmm. in your in truth there's nothing lacking. You don't need your identity no. to be important or brilliant or who you are. It already is. And it's perfect. Yes. So it, you can't um, hold on to it as if there's nothing of you, if, unless you are that. And you know what I'm because getting? Yep. Some of these energies are going to make you feel like you've just stripped away your identity. Yes. And you have to remember you're not your body. You're not even your mind. Is that what Sun Guru says all the time? You're not your body. You're not your yeah. mind. You are already complete and perfect. So yep. you cannot stress out about the feeling of that, maybe flexing one way or the other. Yeah. And and what they're giving me as you're talking is We've been made small, small on purpose. We've been stuffed into a body, right? We are yeah. a singular body. We have a persona and we have a singular consciousness. We're not a collect in this human journey. Yes, we're a collective consciousness and we're coming back into that. But in this case, we have our own conscious awareness of things, right? And so right. we've been made small for purpose to experience what you just said. But now this expansiveness expansive journey is what we're on to what they're talking about to help me see if this if you can help me unpack this they're talking about how that smallness that singular consciousness but being able to come back into the the larger collective consciousness at the same time you know you're a singular consciousness but you're does that make sense to you what i'm saying is like you know you'll know both does that make any sense Yes, it does. Sorry, I haven't shut my phone off when we do these. Oh, I thought um, we were. I thought does. I was losing you again. I'm like, no, 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 no. So. that's right. It's doing them at the same time. You know that that takes a, a 
concerted um, mastery of your of your energy. That's a balancing. That's a serious balancing act to do those two things at one time. Yes. So to be um, strong in your power of knowing how vast your foundation is right. at the same time of holding a, a role yes. of, of being separate. Yes, it's, totally. it's, uh, it's quite something. Okay, that's the video for today. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Check out purplerainhealing.com for all of my channeled services as well as distance energy healing and spiritual awakening one-on-one -on -one mentoring where we take you through your overarching soul journey past present future including past lives as well as helping you get practical information for your day-to-day -day understanding what's going on in your journey and being able to have a smoother approach to it as you move forward all right everybody i will see you in the next video and thank you so much for joining me